Hello friends. Here we are in a week of waiting. I don't know if you've ever noticed it, but sometimes when you watch a baby sleep, you can notice they take, they breathe in, and then there's this pause before they breathe out again. And sometimes a pause before they breathe in again. Which if you're a nervous first-time parent can be completely frightening to see that pause and to wonder, has my child actually stopped breathing? But it's a completely restful pause between inhale and exhale. I want to suggest that each of us has this body memory and activity that reminds us of the pause that can happen between a natural rhythm, in this case of breathing. And we sometimes in our haste and our attachment to the future and what we hope and want to happen, we sometimes forget how natural a pause can be and how helpful. In this week of an extended pause, between election day and the day we hear the results of that election, we are being asked to pause. And in that pausing, to learn something new. I've talked about this before, about how in many spiritual teachings, in the religious traditions around the world, there is a phrase that is called the gap that is often associated with spiritual practices, creating this gap in which we rest and open ourselves to something new, something we don't yet know, something beyond our control, and that spiritual practices themselves often serve the purpose of creating that gap. It has been called a gap that releases us from the tyranny of cause and effect. What a beautiful image of freedom, right? To pause in the space between past and present in a way that is fully open to new possibilities as yet unseen and unknown. This is what our spiritual practices can do, and what the simple practice of pausing between inhale and exhale can remind us of. I want to suggest that in this election week, when we are all being asked to wait for the results of an election that is so contentious and so important, that we might be invited into a state of not knowing that can put us in touch with a deeper thing at stake in this election time. Maybe the greatest unknowing right now is not about the election results, which are surely important, but maybe the greater unknowing is how will we each participate in our own way, in the healing that will be needed, regardless of the outcome of the election. Perhaps we are invited into a deeper participation. Perhaps we are invited to release ourselves from the tyranny of cause and effect long enough that we might feel our call into an unknown future. As you consider these questions and possibilities, perhaps you want to just practice a pause in your own breathing. And perhaps this very simple practice of breathing might encourage that. First of all, take a few breaths in and out, pausing in between, like this. (sighs) 
and then take in a deep inhale, spreading your arms wide to open your heart space. And as you exhale, put your hands above your head and then bring them down to your heart. With one more inhale, open your hands, cupped to receive and participate in an unknown future. And with the last inhale and exhale, I invite you to make of your hands a sieve and release what you cannot control. One more inhale. Thank you for joining me today. May you find your own way of deep, open-hearted pausing in this time of great unknowns. Take good care. Be steady. Be strong. Be patient.